a shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father and Son. Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Kakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of GMS. Peace and blessings to the whole four leg brothers out there on the four corners of the globe, pushing this truth and all truth and sincerity and strength. Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. It's GMS Arkansas along with uh, GMS uh, through, the, through the Fire, Brother Tazamak from uh, Memphis. Uh, come down. And uh, we uh, just in, in the spirit, man, Lord willing, we'll be able to go out. We're probably going to try to go out a little later. Uh, the other brothers here on some, on some business. So we're going to try to uh, get out. And uh, Basra, Basra Bond men said they're going to try to come out. It's Two brothers that's on the other end of town. So, man, through the spirit, man, we're going to keep pushing because the time we're in now, uh, I'm going to read the scripture. I'm going to go to 2nd Ezra. Okay, 2nd Ezra's. Okay, second Ezra's. The ninth chapter. <laughs> these glasses, man. You know, old boy, you these glasses, boy. <laughs> Second Ezra 9 and 1 and he answered me and said measure thou the time diligently in itself and when thou seest part of the sign past which I have told thee then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the eyes will begin to visit the world that he made okay so it says measure the time diligently man so what we have to do is continue to uh, we continue to watch alternative news. We continue to watch our apostles and we watch it. Uh, you know, when you can, you watch other brothers' videos because everybody, the brotherhood, the true brotherhood is putting forth edifying videos in the time we in. And we're in a time of prophecy. And that's where we preach prophecy. Okay? Now, the time that we are now, when we always get down to the end of Esau's year, it's more demonic than ever. Mm -hmm. Because Esau starts with Halloween, and they come in with the, uh, their worship of what they call Thanksgiving, which we know is the destruction of the, what the Gadites. Mm -hmm. Okay, now they they we today is what they call um, uh, Christmas, right? Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, we're, so we're gonna go into just one or two words on it right quick, um, you know, just to uh, get get our day started because we woke up. Brother was talking about him. What'd you say? Go ahead and do it. Pretty much, you know, I was, uh, the Spirit had me going to the word Mary. You know, is every, every time you get around this time of the year, everybody screaming Merry Christmas, Merry mm -hmm. Christmas. And uh, unlike the other pagan holidays, you'll notice uh, everyone uh, from New Year's is Happy New Year's, Happy Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. uh, Happy Easter. Happy 4th of July, okay. happy Halloween, but it gets to Christmas and they use the word Mary. So, you know, Spirit had me go into the word Mary. And, uh, uh, you want me to get it now? <coughs> okay. Okay. So, uh, when you go into this word Mary, and I'll just get, get to the point. Mm -hmm. Uh, It says, uh, when you scroll down, it says, the connection to pleasure likely was via the notion of making time fly, that which makes the time seem to pass quickly. And does not the time pass yep. fast around this time? Yep. Because it was just like a month ago. Mm -hmm. We was doing, they was doing something else. Uh, I said, we, so like, they was doing something else. Uh, and it was like, well, Christmas is in six weeks. Now, it's already here. It seemed like that was just yesterday. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. And uh, another thing, too, you know, they shorten the time. But they, uh, mm -hmm. Pretty much after Halloween, they bring in the... Uh, One of the socials. Yeah, the and, the, and the, the daylight savings time. Mm -hmm. So you get less daylight. Mm -hmm. You know, it's always gloomy. Like right after, about, really about 4, 35 o'clock, is the sun dropping. Mm -hmm. So it's it's like they they putting a spell on you, yeah. you know. It's a heavy satanic time mm -hmm. with uh, a lot of rituals that you know those elites do. Uh, yeah. And uh, 
pretty much the vibration of the earth is is going into a dark time. You know. Mm -hmm. That I seen a lady yesterday. Uh, I know her, and uh, she just was like crying and shit. You know, talk you crying for her. Mm -hmm. I you know, and it had just got dark too early. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like about five fifteen. Yep. And she was just crying, talking about I can't. I can't get my grandkids nothing for Christmas and mm -hmm. the other grandmother's getting this and this. And I mean, this mom was crying because she ain't got no money by no damn present. Mm -hmm. I mean, talking about crying, like really crying. I'm like, yep. And it's really saying it's that spell to be on the people, man. Yep. It be that spell, you know what I'm saying? Yep. He says, uh, to amuse, entertain once, in, to amuse, entertain, amuse oneself. Uh, it says there also was a verbal form in Old English, uh, be merry, rejoice. And then this is where it gets interesting. It says, for vow evolution, see Barry, B-U-R-Y. It says to raise a mound, hide, enclosed in a grave or tomb, you know? And uh, I'll get a precept real quick. Yeah, please. <clears throat> it's uh, Revelations. <clears throat> it's Revelations 11 and 8. And this is the first precept I thought about when I read it. It says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of their great city. Mm -hmm. And their great city is what? Babylon the Great, America today. Mm -hmm. Which spiritually is called Sodom, right? And is that not the spirit? You know, that's really heavy around this time. Mm -hmm. You know, because uh, Christmas really goes into a, a sensual, sexual uh, vow uh, 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 festival too. You know, with the Saturnalia, mm -hmm. um, the mistletoe shit, the uh, from even the uh, what's the shit they hang on the doors, uh, uh, the round thing, the uh, reefs. Yeah, yeah, that's really going into a, a pussy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, and then the tree going to the uh, Nimrod mm -hmm. penis, mm -hmm. you know. It's so, all, it's all uh, the money. It's all the money. Yep. Yeah, all, mm -hmm. Yep. Going to that that sodomy spirit, and it says, uh, in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Now Egypt deals with what bondage. Mm -hmm. See, and our people, they're bound to these to these gods and these pagan pagan holidays. But we are what free in the mind from this shit. Mm -hmm. So we ain't stressed, like, brothers ain't stressed around this time. We laughing at how ignorant our people are. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it, 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 as they say, oppression maketh the wise man mad, you know. But we learn to balance it as we mature and mm -hmm. get and get older in this faith. So we know the reason why our people ultimately are under the spell is because they went away from their power. Yahweh Shimei Yahweh he gave them over to the gods of this world, all right? And uh, just to note back to the the, uh, the word, right? It says to raise a mound, hide, and close mm -hmm. in a grave or tomb. All right. It says uh, uh, let me see to hide, cover, conceal from sight. Right. Mm -hmm. One more precept. Oh, you got something. All right. It's the book of Job. It's the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. And the chief judge is who? Yahweh Shah. They say the dead body shall lie in that great city. All right, which is spiritually known as Sodom and Egypt, and where the, our Lord was crucified, right? Mm -hmm. So what our people don't recognize is spiritually what they're doing is crucifying the Lord, mm -hmm. all right? And their attempt is to try to uh, destroy our connection with our true power mm -hmm. by giving us a false god mm -hmm. uh, with... Uh, with, with a tie to the Bible or tie to, you know, like they try to tie this Christmas like it's, mm -hmm. uh, you know, truly related 
to our Lord and Savior, and it's not. You know, oh, we we celebrating Jesus' birthday. No, you're not. Exactly. You know, that has nothing. This has nothing to do uh, with the one the world even calls Jesus Christ's birthday, and that's not in the in the Bible uh, for us to even celebrate his birthday. You know, if he if if we knew the actual date of his birthday, which we know it wasn't in the winter. Mm -hmm. You know, we know that for a fact. Uh, Luke the first year. Yeah, it was in the it was in the springtime. Mm -hmm. All right. Even when you go into the law spiritually, uh, it had to be a lamb of uh, of that year with the uh, no blemish, right? Mm -hmm. uh, during the time of the Passover. Passover, and the Passover is in the spring, man. That's right. Because it tell you in Luke, that's when your shepherds would have the the flocks out, out in the field. field. Yeah. yeah, you know yeah. that's that's the summertime. That's the spring and summertime. Have yeah. you ever been on that side of the world? Yep. It says, uh, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? You know, and, and that's the problem. Our people doesn't know uh, that the judge that's currently in the dominion seat of the earth right now is uh, a wicked, uh, a evil mm -hmm. generation, a wicked, evil seed, Edom, all right, which was set up on the earth to, do, to deceive, cover, and conceal the truth from you, man. That's right. And have you in vain, uh, you know, worshiping these heathenistic customs, all right? Because, like, you got people like that lady, you know, she said uh, she was hurt because she wasn't going to be able to buy her kids nothing for Christmas. Well, you got people that lose their jobs. They put bills on the, you know, they, they deprioritize. They put priorities behind just to pay homage. Yeah. You know, uh, and the scriptures tell you, uh, give, don't give your uh, kids uh, rule over you, man. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're going to Sirach, you know, tell you not to give your daughter, your son, your wife. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't, you don't, you, only, only spirit that's supposed to be ruling over you is the Heavenly Father. That's right. You know, your how about you, how shot. You got yeah, it. I got one scripture. Uh, I think it's Second Thessalonians. Right here. Uh, if I may. Thessalonians 2 Thessalonians 2 and 10 <clears throat> It says um, And him whose coming is after the working of Satan mm -hmm. With all power and signs and lying wonders If I can say something real quick on that Satan Ain't nothing but an anagram Mm -hmm. uh, Santa ain't nothing but an anagram for Satan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? That's right. Go ahead, bro. It says, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, lying man. Wonders. This whole uh, time of the year is, is a lying wonder. Yep. Because you lie to the kids. Matter of fact, I was just watching Channel uh, 7. They was tracking Santa. <laughs> right. They say he was in Russia. Yeah, he in Russia. He in Russia. He on his way. So that's a lying wonder. A then, global lie. And then you spend money uh, around this time. Like you said, say, uh, 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 it's witchcraft. Because I'm going to tell you one thing that sells a lot around this time is cookie dough. Mm -hmm. It sells a lot. People don't even know it because they making cookies for Santa Claus. Yeah. So cookies dough sell, or cookies in period general. Yeah. And that's like one thing that sells a lot around this time yep. in candy. Mm -hmm. Cakes. Yeah. That this like a uh, that's a damn uh basically a, a line wonder right in your face. Mm -hmm. And it says, and all with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they have received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. Okay? And for this cause, Yahweh Bashinao Shah shall send them strong delusions. That they should believe a lie, and that's what they've been believing yep. the, the whole year. Like you're dead, you're waiting on it. If, if it's if it's the whole year, then it's your whole existence. Yep. Because you live, if you were living, you living twelve months out of the year. Yep. And every month, almost they got some kind of strong delusion holiday that they push in your face to have you uh, paying homage to. And then they come with you the know? New Year's. Yeah, that's that's coming next. Yep. And you what know? people do. Uh, right after New Year's, they think about how they gonna do. The, uh, yeah, Christmas is good, but next year, mm -hmm. you know, 
they already thinking about how to pay homage in the next year. Man, it's 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 such a hell of a trick. Yep. To like you was talking about that vibration. They have that vibration and then the the uh daylight saving, the winter solstice, it's it's it makes you be sad because around this time it's easy for you to get mad at your spouse for not buying something mm -hmm. that you like. Mm -hmm. And you carry that shit all the way over <coughs> to the point where you uh, old Lang Syne, you, you doing wishes of what you want the new year to be like. And it's all sad time. And then, then Esau come right with uh, uh, Cupid, mm -hmm. Valentine, make up with me. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, it's, it's them witchcraft, bro. Yep. And then they they come and lie to you uh, 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 don't tell you the true Passover. It comes lie to you by Easter. Yep. And it's just one thing after another. It got you uh, worshiping uh, Memorial Day and the, the troops. And then mm -hmm. it goes all the way into, uh, make, yep. matter of fact, got Jake worshiping uh, June T. And if you really look at all the, all these holidays, none of them are solemn. All of them are about folly and mm -hmm. mirth. Nothing, because you know our holidays, we got solemn assemblies where it's a serious time of mourning, mm -hmm. you know, which we have uh, holidays for mirth and, you know, mm -hmm. you know, you got what, uh, Hanukkah, you know, feast, but even still, like, even, even the holidays that we have set for we can actually celebrate, you know what I'm saying, and like really, we in our captivity, so it's still, because even when we, when we deal with Hanukkah, we we thinking about the time of the Maccabees when our temple was destroyed, you know. Exactly. You know, so you know, brothers ain't really able to. I mean, we coming into Purim, which is when Haman them tried to kill us. Yeah. We tried to destroy the Israelites, yep. and, and the Lord allowed us to destroy him. So it's really like that's still morning, but still it's happy. Morning. It's happy morning. Yeah, because right we now. had a, we had a victory. It's bittersweet, you know. But mm -hmm. with these people, it's all about sweet sin. <laughs> uh, you know, all about sweets. Mm -hmm. Even the Passover, Easter eggs, and you know, they thinking about making dressing, and you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's some bullshit. But this Ecclesiastes uh, in the Old Testament, uh, chapter 10, uh, and verse 6 Folly is set in great dignity, mm -hmm. and the rich sit in low place. You know? And that's really talking about the Lord's elect sitting mm -hmm. in a low place. You know, we just observing, you know. Mm -hmm. People look at us and they can really feel the vibration that we get off that we ain't with this shit. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, you know, it's a lot of times, uh, you know, they'll tell us Merry Christmas, we'll kind of hit them with a, with a deflate. I just say like what? Like what? Or same <laughs> to you. Same to you. You know, you know. It, 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 like I might say, well, you know, happy holidays to mm -hmm. you, but I won't say Merry Christmas, right? Yeah, exactly. Cause you gotta be uh mindful of what you say because words have power, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And that's why uh, you know, the spirit of your heart shine is upon us to mm -hmm. beware of these people. I got another one. Go ahead. That's Colossians two and eight. Beware lest any man spoil you mm -hmm. through philosophy and vain deceit. Mm -hmm. After the tradition of man, mm -hmm. after the rudiments of the world, and not after Hamashiach. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and, and, and these different traditions of men, this is this is basic part of a uh, intricate plan of Esau. Because when you, like Psalms eighty three is such a heavy uh, chapter, man. Mm -hmm. Because that was part of them making Israel no more remembrance. remembrance. So if we can do this, and we can do this, and we can do this. They won't remember that they Israel. Okay. Give us their ways. Mm -hmm. That's what. That's how you uh, conquer a, a nation, man. Yup. You know. That's how you conquer. Yeah. Um, they go. Keep going on that. Uh, you get Amos too. Get yeah, Amos. Yeah, Amos. And, and Amos, what? Uh, five. Five and twenty. Five and 20. Yeah. Let's see. And why he get that? Uh. I had that word, because that word, bury, mm -hmm. we, you know, it goes in, uh, like, like uh, you go into it, one of the words is being like death, too. Death, yeah. And that's what is killing you, and then, uh, which ties into uh, what you see, what you see mainly 
it was funny. Uh, I was talking to um, the brother Ayash on the phone yesterday when I was headed uh, south. We was laughing. Like, it's so hot because I was like, yeah, they wanted to be uh, they wanted to be cold. Where they could sit in in the house with their little sweaters on, their little shoes yeah, off, yeah. with the little fire lit because that's part of the ritual. Yep, that's part of the satanic ritual, the burning mm -hmm. of the or Yule log, which mm -hmm. is the burning of what his children. Yep. Go back to Molech and shit. Yep. Go home and go back to all that. So we was looking at the word Yule, the Yule log, because that's what they, they, they wanted to be freezing so you could do that ritual and that puts you in a spell, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it says Yule is a noun, an old English gala, Christmas Day, Christmas Tide, which is a coordinate, coordinate with the Old Norse plural, the name of a heathen feast. See, so that's a heathenist custom when you light them fires, man, light them logs, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and it's like, <clears throat> you can have a fireplace and it can just be winter, you can stay warm, but like, it's that particular time, they that's when you do it, it's that spell. Being, it's that spirit. Yeah, being pushed out it's there that, more. It's that uh, conjuring up of that spirit. Mm -hmm. And they tell you, uh, I don't know if you if you I I've seen them fires be lit around that time that that fire be popping extra mm -hmm. it be popping like mm -hmm. more than it do you know what I'm saying because mm -hmm. we used to have fireplaces and I just noticed you know remember that that shit be popping yeah. you know, it be popping us man mm -hmm. spirits man. spirits and it says uh it says it's the name of a heathen feast man mm -hmm. later taken over by Christianity. That the dramatic word is known an unknown origin. Okay, it says um, uh, this Anglo-Saxon name for a two-month midwinter season corresponded to Roman December and January, the time of an important feast, but not itself a festival because it's a time where they bring them spells. Mm -hmm. Right? It's not a feast like we we like you say our feast is about. Uh, more than, and, and big, basically fearing the heavenly father. Yep. But these are more or less putting spells on people mm -hmm. to keep you in that uh, in, in Babylon. And, yeah, that subject subject mind state. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You won't even want to. Uh, it's so sweet to put a point. You won't even want to uh, um, come out of it, man. Nah. Because it's a, it's happy, man. It's like it's a happy time for you. Mm -hmm. You know, it ain't around that time. But it's a false, it's a mm -hmm. false happiness. Yeah, if people be getting, you know, guys who ain't even got girlfriends and boyfriends don't have boyfriends. You be meeting people around. It's like, I met a guy on Christmas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what you call it when you uh, uh like when you make some a sensational lot? They be it's that mm -hmm. sensationalism. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like a false happiness. Yeah. You know. That whole thing, walking hand in hand. Yes. Yeah. Some people be miserable. They be miserable. <laughs> then you got, like you said, these old people they ain't, they ain't got nobody. They spouse is dead. You're around here crying. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, the Christmas is not the same. You know, it ain't nothing the same. It's saying when the earth is ruled by the wicked, people go going more. Yep. yep. Okay. When the righteous and authority, when people are gonna rejoice. rejoice. That's simple, man. Yep. Uh, what you got? Oh, uh, Amos. Huh. This book of Amos, chapter five, verse twenty. Uh, twenty-one. Yeah. Uh, it says, "I hate, I despise your feast days." The Lord said, "I hate and despise it," so He really rejects it. He ain't down with it, man. Oh yeah. And I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. So all these assemblies that y'all are getting in, and like East, uh, you know, they East all them got the whole world on the Christianity going. They go to church on this day. They probably to church last night. They gonna go to church on New Year's Eve. You you you, you steady being uh, kept under that spell, man. Okay. And it's heavy uh, idol idol worship, mm -hmm. you know, which is uh. Pretty much the first commandment, you know, the Lord said, Thou shalt not first love the Lord, you know, with all thy heart, you know, all thy mind, all thy power. But he said, What well, have no other gods before me? Mm -hmm. So that the idol worship, this is the most uh, 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 
heavy uh, idol worship time in the year, man. You know? Good. Uh, let me get this word smell. I want to get that word smell. Let me see what it goes into. It's the book of Amos 5 and 21. I'm going to read it again. Get it. It says, uh, I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assembly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it's heavy. I've seen that word before. It's heavy. I see. There's two heavy words in there. There's two of them there. Let's see. It says, uh, Age is 7306. Ruach. Ruach. It says, I outline a good usage one to smell, scent, perceive, accept. See, I want to accept. I accept. And that word is Racha. So, uh, it's going into the spirit that's uh, revolved. The Lord doesn't, the Lord rejects the spirit. That uh, because like when we when we when we uh when we put our energy into something, that's mm -hmm. our spirit mm -hmm. we're giving to the you know we're giving our spirit. But the Lord said, "What well, you have to worship Him in sincerity and truth." So even if you sincerely think that this holiday is based upon the Lord's birthday and you paying homage to the Lord, it's not in truth. So He doesn't accept it. Mm -hmm. He only accepts the truth, man. Exactly. It says uh, Strong's definition: to blow an example, breathe, perceive, to anticipate, accept, make a quick understanding. See, you won't accept it. Yep. That's heavy, man. Yep. That's heavy. So the Lord said, "I hate, I hate these times of the year mm -hmm. that y'all to put forth talking about these are the." Uh, the days of, and it's always, and they always go uh, thank the Lord too. Yeah. But they think of the Lord of the flies, they don't think of Satan. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. They say in vain they do worship me. Exactly. This is a Jeremiah, you got something? I got Jeremiah too, what you got? I got Jeremiah 10. Okay, get that, get that. All right, it's Jeremiah 10. I'm going to start at 1. It says, Hear ye the word of the Lord, Yehovah Shimei HaVashah, uh -huh. speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Mm -hmm. Thus said the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen, mm -hmm. and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Learn not their ways, man. Then mm -hmm. we just not read the Yule was the uh, heathenistic custom. Mm -hmm. So learn not their way. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, eggnog and all that. Uh, it's it's a meaning. If you go back to Thanksgiving, all that has a meaning. Yep. You know, you ain't got to do that. You ain't got to celebrate uh, uh, no New Year's because that's going into the God of Janice, yep. two head the two head either. Yep. Okay. Yep. You ain't got to celebrate none of that. These these delusions of, of, of a little fat baby with an arrow can shoot you in the booty and then you'll fall in love with whoever two feet from you. <laughs> this shit's crazy, it's crazy, man. Crazy. Man. <laughs> It's pretty crazy. Go all of, all of it going back to 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 uh, Greco Roman pagan idols, mm -hmm. you know, like and then uh, yeah, even Christmas go back to Babylon, exactly. you know, with uh, Nimrod, right. mm -hmm. you know. So all of these, uh, yeah, all, all of these uh, pagan gods from the ancient kingdoms uh -huh. are heavy in America, man. Exactly. You know, it I, says. Uh, mm -hmm. For the customs of the people are vain, mm -hmm. for one cut the tree out of the forest, mm -hmm. the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. And that's what they do uh, 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 all the way up until a few days before. They mm -hmm. go in the woods and they try to cut a cedar tree. Yep. Because a cedar tree basically, uh, uh, it don't, it, it's a year-round tree. It don't die. Yeah. See uh -huh. what I'm saying? So, and they ain't even supposed to be cutting them damn trees down. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember uh, Elder Yashawan did a video, like the trees, like every tree ain't meant to be cut down, yeah. especially them Christmas trees. Them trees, uh, you know, uh, be sheltered for the birds in the winter. Yeah, because um, you ever stood under a cedar tree? Uh, you won't get wet when it rains. Yeah. 
Damn. Like if you when it's raining, if you run under a cedar tree, like what they call a Christmas tree, mm-hmm. you'll you'll be dry. Yeah, it hole, it yeah, hole it it won't, that water don't come through it, so it's a, you can be dry. So that's that's one of the good reasons, like you said, for the animals too. Yep. They go under and lay up under cedar trees, man. Yep. Like if you got a cow pasture, it's good to probably put a bunch of cedar tree where your cows can go under. Yeah, and lay up under there. But yeah, the, under the cedar tree, you don't get wet, man. Well, I scripture to say, uh. The earth is out of course. Mm-hmm. All the foundations of the be. earth are out of course, mm-hmm. man. You know, and trees are part, a major part of the found, mm-hmm. foundation of the earth because trees are here for uh, oxygen for us. Mm-hmm. You know, trees serve multiple purposes, but you have to know which ones are supposed to be cut, which ones supposed, to, you know, you're not supposed to touch. Exactly. But they don't know because that's not their lot. Mm-hmm. It says they deck it with silver and with gold, they fasten it with nails and with hammers, that it move not. All of this is the custom of Christmas, man. You know? So here it is in the scriptures telling you what not to do, but you still do it. So what's gonna happen? You mm-hmm. wanna piss the Heavenly Father off. You wanna provoke him to anger to destroy you. If you don't stop uh, you know, Worshiping these idols and going after the ways of these heathens. Mm-hmm. I got one on the back here we were just talking about. God. It says Psalms 96 and 10. Say among the heathen that the Lord Yahweh reigneth. The world also shall be established that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. Mm-hmm. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar in the fullness thereof. Right? And this is, I know when we take over. It says, let the field be joyful. And this Psalms 96. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, my favorite yeah. scripture. It said, let the, let the field be joyful, <coughs> all that they're in. Then let all the trees and wood rejoice. Mm-hmm. When the earth yep. is ruled by the wicked. Yep, the people mourn. People, even the trees, even the trees are mourn. mourn. Okay? Yep. The animals are crying. Mm-hmm. I just saw a video when a cow have a, when a, cow have a calf. If you take it from him, the cow go cry. I was like, damn. So think about it. They got veal all over the place, and that's what veal is. Mm-hmm. So Esau be having cows take them. They take the ba- they they take the cow baby and make f- food on the table. You know what I'm saying? They kill it young, so the the, the cows be mourning, mm-hmm. the animals be mourning. Mm-hmm. Then you got Esau over here, kill lions, he'll kill big game. That's all that they take and they'll they kill the biggest ram, which is the father of this whole generation. You know what I'm saying? That's what they do. The earth is straight up animals more than the people more than Cause they not they not uh they're not executing judgment on any level accurately. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Even it's a way it's supposed to kill the animals. It's a, it's it's, it's mm-hmm. a, it, everything has an order. The earth has a mm-hmm. maintenance system. Certain ones they said certain ones you're supposed to kill. So ones you're supposed to kill, yeah. you, but you, they don't have the knowledge of how to do that. Mm-hmm. And you will think, okay, that because the spirit just what you just brought out about the cows being being mourning because they taking the cows from them. Mm-hmm. You will wonder why your meat don't taste right. Yeah, your meat be tasting. You know what I'm saying? You're spoiling. <laughs> it's just like somebody come in your house and just take your kid mm-hmm. and be gone with it. What are we finna do? We are finna go. We finna take this mother with Bohemian Grove and throw his ass in the fire. You gonna be mad as hell. Come on, man. And that's what they do. Yep. You yep. know, everybody on damn milk cart name. Yep, yep, yep. yep. <laughs> I was just thinking about that. It says, uh, let the field be joyful, Psalms 96 and 12. Let the field be joyful and let all that is therein. Then all uh, the trees and the wood rejoice before the Lord Yahweh, before he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth. Be sh- he shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. Yep. And it's starting now. That's why the Lord has allowed us to have this understanding. He said, mm-hmm. I'm going to give you prophets according to my own heart. I'm going to give you pastors according to my own heart. It's going to feed you with knowledge and understanding. And the Lord has given certain men that ability to, to preach and certain other men to hear and then take on that, that task of teaching as well. Mm-hmm. Because it's a certain number that has to, to, uh, to uh, be basically engulfed in this truth before the end come and that's what you see happening basically before, before your eyes man mm-hmm. okay I'm, I'm gonna read you got any more read. i got i got one okay uh, this, is quick one. this is john 8 and uh 32 
It says, mm -hmm. and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Mm -hmm. You know, free from all this idolatry. Mm -hmm. You know, free from all the uh, you know the additional unnecessary stress that mm -hmm. you put yourself through. You know, because really the only thing that the men of the Lord really stress about is all this wicked shit going on that we ready to get get away from. Mm -hmm. You know, we see we we're 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 stressed. On the level of, you know, we're ready to go home. We're ready to return to righteousness. Mm -hmm. They stressed about some shit that's never going to get them to righteousness. Exactly. You're like, man, you ain't, you still, man, that's, come on, man. You know? Exactly. We're trying to get to the, to the, to the, uh, back to the rightful position of the kings and priests of the earth so that we can, uh, you know, have true uh, peace and rest, you know? Exactly. Because it's like, you said the truth, knowing the truth is going to set you free. It's like a, a, we have a, a, Most High has given us a, a bigger knowledge of what's going on. Peace of mind. Yeah. Uh, and besides you people, uh, I think that scripture is, uh, uh, what is that scripture? Never coming to the knowledge of the truth. Yeah, uh, ever learning, but never. You want me to get that? Yeah, because right. that go right with that right there. Yep. Yeah, it goes right with it. This is a uh, Second Timothy three, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll start at. Uh, Shit, probably. I started five. It says, uh, "Having a form of godliness." Mm -hmm. But denying the power thereof. See, our people have that form of godliness. They go to church. They, that's what they think they're supposed to do. But they've been put under that delusion. You know, they they they'll tell you, "Hey, I believe in God. They, it, it, I will help my fellow man." They, they want it. They they have that. They have that zeal, man, mm -hmm. like the scriptures say, but not of the true knowledge. So they're not set free. You know, still in bondage. Go ahead. Hey, I'm gonna read it real quick in uh, NLT. It say they act, re they will act religious, mm -hmm. but they will reject the power that could make them godly. Boom, there it is. So yep. you, you remain, <laughs> you're gonna remain ignorant, yep. and you're gonna remain in error. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Yep. You're gonna remain ignorant and ignorance in error, man. And the and the power is in His Word. Mm. The, the, the power is in, 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 in the Bible, in the Word, and the understanding of His Word. Mm -hmm. But people don't want to, they, they reject it because you have rejected knowledge, I will reject it. Mm -hmm. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. That's right. Uh, it says, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. Mm -hmm. Also, maybe think about uh, Romans. Uh, uh, they, they have a zeal, yeah, but, yeah, but zeal. not according to knowledge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It says, from such turn away. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Never able to come into the knowledge of the truth, man. Mm -hmm. and, and, that, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? The Lord only only dealing with certain men, man, that he, he don't give that to. Okay? Yep. At the end, of the list, that's you know why we have to be uh, always praising Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah because it's not uh, it's not of us. Mm -hmm. You say it's a grace uh, is a gift of the Most High, okay. you know, and not of ourselves. Faith, you know, everybody don't have it. You know, to to be able to see beyond the flesh because mm -hmm. that's really what it is. It, people don't. Uh, have the ability to see uh, the spirit behind what's really going on. That's right. Like I said, you just read, I'm going to read that for you. Romans 10 and 2, for I bear them record that they have the, a zeal of the most high, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, but not according to knowledge, man. Yep. And zeal goes into zealous, excitement of mind. A fer fervor of spirit. Yep, going to the spirit. Mm -hmm. yep. It says in embracing and pursuing zeal in behalf of a person or a thing, a, the fierceness of indignation, of appearing to zeal, the envious of contention. Okay. So zeal, zeal goes into knowledge of the spirit. Mm -hmm. Really, you know, you have to uh, be 
Firm in mind. Firm in mind, you know. You know, but the Lord has to ignite that fire. Mm -hmm. You know, if the Lord doesn't ignite that fire, then you really just a uh, uh, dead body. Like Re uh, Revelation 11 and 8. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Back to what we started. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Fervent is uh, boiling, hot, glowing. See? So you got to be on fire. You got to be, yeah. got to be hot for this thing. You yep. know, uh, Revelation, what is it, the third chapter? Yep. Yep. See? I will yeah, you have fire. I can get that. Okay. Yeah. You said, I will not have you be lukewarm. Mm -hmm. Bubble to burn. It says a sense of impassioned. So you gotta have a passion for this truth. Yep. Okay. You gotta uh you gotta uh like Jacob say, oh man. Shit, I live, I eat, I, what they say, I eat, sleep, I eat, sleep, basketball, man. Yeah. Bro, I love it. Yeah. But well, you got to live, eat, and sleep this year. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This has got to be on your mind when you go to bed, and then when you look, cause when you go to bed, you go into the, when we remember, it's certain prayers we pray before we go to bed. Yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you remember, because sometimes, brother, you know, you just fall asleep. Yeah, you just fall asleep. But, you know, the spirit make an intercession. Yeah, I was just thinking about yeah, that. Yeah, so, yeah, so you're still praying. Yeah, yeah, yeah to make an intercession for yeah. you. So, and you go into, uh, once you sleep, you go into that. To the spiritual realm. Spiritual realm, and you come back. So yeah. when you wake up, what do we do? If you remember, pray when you wake up. So yeah. you have to live, eat, sleep, and constantly apply this to your life. Okay, that's what you see. The people who believe in these holidays, the heathenistic customs, are not doing. They're not applying the scriptures to their everyday life because if they was, it all it takes is the Negro, Latinos, and the Native Americans to apply the scriptures. Just if you apply uh, uh, Jeremiah the tenth chapter that the brother read about fifteen minutes ago, mm -hmm. if you apply that, the sales. Of America will go down. They'd be like, "Well, it's a, it's a drop in sales because yeah, because we the ones that make this thing turn. Yeah. We the one that make it yeah. turn. We the gears that make Form it move. all things. Yeah. If we just stop the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, mm -hmm. the Esau can't hold it up by itself. Yeah. You see, they'd be like, "Us nobody." Here. Like you said, it's Christmas and see the same no more because of more and more people like man, fuck that shit. Yeah. Then you got the situation where people ain't got no money, they can't do nothing. Yeah. Shit, Jake just rather like shit, I'm gonna go get a little barbecue or something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit, you just don't tell them damn kids, man. That's right. You know? And this uh Revelation three uh thirteen, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the spirit said unto the churches. I think this was the church of Lego Seer. Yep. Lego Seers. Yep, that's what it says. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, and unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans, mm -hmm. write these things, uh, write these things, said, uh, mm -hmm. said, these things said the Amen, mm -hmm. the faithful and true witness, mm -hmm. the beginning of creation of Yahweh Shem Hashem Power. Mm -hmm. I know thy works, mm -hmm. that thou art neither cold nor hot. That's it. I would thou were cold or hot. So so then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, mm -hmm. I will spew thee out of my mouth. Okay. And you know, Lego Seans, if you go into them, they had they had money. You know, they had those riches. Mm -hmm. You know what the scriptures say about a rich man making to the kingdom of heaven. You know, it's like uh I have a needle. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. A camel going through the, the it's easy for a camel, camel to go, go through, through the, the eye of a needle. needle. So the Lego Seans, they had they was they had that money, man. Mm -hmm. You see? Yep. It says, because thou sayest I am rich and increased with goods mm -hmm. and have need of nothing, mm -hmm. and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. And naked. Guess yep. what? They don't got the they don't got the wisdom knowledge, they don't got the true riches. Going right back to John 8.32. And uh, uh, Ecclesiastes 10 and 6. The truth yep. day is. Yep. It's, it's like a rich sitting in a low place. place. Yeah, who are the rich? Yep. We know who the rich are between yep. the Revelation 2nd chapter. Yep. We have the knowledge, the wisdom, and understanding, so that makes us the rich. Yep. Okay, so like you said, when you read that, you already know John 8.32. So you're not going to be set free. Mm -hmm. If you don't come out of this mind state of, 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 uh, being under the delusion of Esau and come back to the heavenly father. And I'm gonna read that. If you ain't got nothing else, I got one, I got one more. I was gonna get Michael, that's all I got. Okay. 
I'm gonna read this. Oh, you wanna read yours first? Yeah, I'll read mine. Okay. Go. Uh, Micah. Micah 2 and 10. Done. It's the book of Micah. Chapter 2, verse 10. Arise ye and depart, mm -hmm. for this is not your rest. Come, the Lord says, come, depart, meaning come back to him, walk with him. Come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay? Come back to the true riches. The manner, the, the basically the, the true manner of life. This is what it is. This is what this is it. Man, because man, until I start reading the scriptures, man, Jake, you think you know it, but you don't. No. You know, once you start reading, it's like, oh shit. No. And you just it convince you like, God damn. Yeah, yeah, I've been fucking up. Like, yeah, for real. Yeah. It takes like it, it literally uh transforms you. Uh it takes you. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. It take it takes you out of this world. Mm -hmm. Like mentally and spiritually. Physically you're here, yeah. but mentally and spiritually you, you're gone. Exactly. But then in the scriptures they tell you that our bodies, our bodies really are uh, in the heavens with Yahweh Shah, you know. So the, these 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 bodies don't uh, matter, you exactly. know. We we really so supposed to be living off of spirit, spirit off the spirit of Yahweh Shah and Yahweh Shah. That's that's like your focus. In life, like like the elder was saying, you go to sleep, you wake up, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. all supposed to be dedicated to, you know, mm -hmm. Yahweh Hashim, Yahweh Shah, you know? But you have to depart from this place. And be willing to, and have that, that sense of mind to be willing to to not care nothing about the world. Basically, if you, what uh, Philippians 1 21, it says, for to me to live in a Masiach and to die is gain. Yep. So you have to think of it that way. Yep. You see, you have to think, hey man, I'm gonna put forth, that if, if I gotta die for this, guess what, it's all good, because I'll be with the heavenly Father. People, they, these people out here, they don't even wanna, they don't even wanna die and go be with your house, Nah. nah. They don't wanna die and nah. be with your house, nah. man. It's like, uh -huh. How do you, it, it, it's like, dude, it, it don't even make sense. It's like, cause they don't believe. If I could die and be with the one you talking about, oh, he the Lord, he the Lord, the Lord. Okay. That's like that song. If I could die and be with him, all right, let me die and sleep and go be with him. Hey, who yeah. sing that song? Uh, everybody wanna go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. Oh, you, you remember that song? Yeah, I remember. 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 Yeah, Man, if you could die tomorrow, will you die, man? Nah, no, man, I still got shit. I got shit. I got that damn big ass beer gun. Damn kids trying to go. I go that graduation. Man. I do all that, man. The Lord take my BI. I just want to see my daughter graduate. You know, it's just it's Thank you, man. Thank you, bro. Yep. Man, it's $2 thinking, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good. I got one more. Hey, you, you get, uh, you get, you get. Speak on you. This, <coughs> okay. this is uh, uh, Jeremiah, the third chapter. It says, the sixth verse, the Lord Yahweh said unto me, In the days of Josiah the king, hast thou seen that which backsliding Israel has done? Mm. She has gone upon every, every high mountain and under every green tree, mm. and they and there have played the harlot. Yeah, so, and that's that idol worship. Yeah, idol worship, man. <laughs> Spiritual adultery, man. Exactly. <laughs> you know, the Lord said, Thou shalt not have any other gods before mm -hmm. me, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And it says, uh, uh, and, and I said, after she had done all these things, turned down to me. He said, Come back to me, man. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you did it. He's so mm -hmm. merciful. Come back to Come me. Come on back. Yeah. It says, but she returned not. Mm -hmm. 
in her treachery, sister Judah saw it. And I saw, and, and I'm going to tell you, the northern tribe, y'all wicked as hell. But Judah, it's, it's hand in hand. Y'all, yeah. you know, the northern tribe, the stuff y'all be worshiping, man. Y'all wicked as hell. Yeah. And Judah, wicked as hell. But the Lord, like I heard Yahshua was say yesterday on the streets, the Lord left a, uh, a, uh, a little bit of knowledge in Judah. So, because Judah had to bring forth this truth to wake up everybody wake else. Up. He left a little bit in Judah, man. And it says, uh, and I saw when for all cause whereby backsliding Israel committed adultery. Mm -hmm. And I have put her away and given her a bill of divorce. Yet her treacherous sister Judah feared not, but went and played the harlot also. And it came to pass through the lightness of her whoredom that she defiled the land and committed adultery with stones and with stocks. Yep. And it says, and for, when you go, yeah. when you go to, uh, when you read in the book of Judges, mm -hmm. uh, every time we were idol worship, we would lose the land over to the Canaanites. Exactly. You know, every time we idol worship, we lose. And you're talking about the earth is really built with a spirit mm -hmm. to be tied to the Israelites. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Mm hmm. That's why that's why when we go off, the earth goes into a, a, a state of mourning as well. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> because it, yeah. the earth got to be maintained with the spirit of the Israelites. Yeah. That's why you see earthquakes. That's why you see all this shit going on is because the righteous are not. It's you know, off course. It's off course. Mm -hmm. The righteous are not in authority. That's right. I'm gonna read this and we can be done. It says, verse eleven, and the Lord Yahweh said unto me. The backside of Israel have justified herself more treacherous than Judah. Mm. Go and proclaim these words. Like you said, that idol worship in the northern tribes mm -hmm. is, 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 is heavy. Mm -hmm. You know, they into all, yeah. you know, they, type of shit. They, they believe Jesus was born today and they heard that. Yeah. They want to tell you, Jesus. They, they close the store early and everything. Mm -hmm. It said, go and proclaim these words to the north and say, return thou backsliding Israel, saith Yahweh, and I will not cause my anger to fall upon you, and I am merciful. I am merciful, saith the Lord, and I will not keep anger forever. Okay? And it says, only acknowledge thine iniquity, and thou hast transgressed against the Lord Yahweh, that power. Acknowledge it, man. That's what y'all want to do. Repent. Because once you do it, the truth going to set you free. Yep. And it says, It has scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree. Mm. <laughs> and it says, And ye have not obeyed my voice, said the Lord your house. Mm -hmm. You just all into that idol worship. Yep. Every every holiday, you hook, line, and sinker, running to the store, spending money, helping that that that, that vibration of wickedness yep. stay there, man. Yep. All you gotta do is the Lord said, just come back. Yep. You gonna see the change. You come back, mm -hmm. but they not, cause he said it. Cause that's why Zechariah thirteen is so heavy. He said, I, it, I'm gonna put it with these niggas. I ain't gonna even get it. But mm -hmm. then when I come, I'm just gonna put this place up. Yep. Y'all gonna see. Then they gonna know. Yeah. The same shall know it after death by pain. Come. Mm -hmm. And it says, uh, this is the last. What it says, turn or backside children, said the Lord your howl, for I am married unto you. And I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you into Zion. And that's what you see going on, man. The Lord take two. Remnant. Sometimes he did a remnant. Take two and <coughs> one from a city, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? Everybody ain't meant to get it. And that's why we we but we have to proclaim it. We know, well, you know, we know that you're gonna do it there, you're gonna keep doing it, you're gonna Mm -hmm. Keep buying presents and you're going to be, be drinking eggnog and champagne and toasting to the ball falling and that shit demonic. Mm -hmm. You know, that's demonic as fuck. Mm -hmm. Damn ball falling down, damn uh, straight up pole is a phallus. Mm. You got the ball slide down, that shit, that's some sexual shit. Yep. 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 You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And y'all going to keep on doing all these different holidays, man, until the Lord come back to destroy y'all ass. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And we and we welcome the destruction. 
know you know what I'm saying because because it, it to live in the Masia and to die is what gain so if we gonna try we gonna live right and say hey man the Lord destroyed this place man you know what I'm saying if he destroy this place and everybody die hey that's cool we gonna He's be with the Lord we're gonna be with your house shot man so we can take us around here. Yep. Hey, so Lord will you were edified, giving all praises unto the Lord once again to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakadash, double honors to the Apostle Nils, Ray Mills, Phone, Peace, Sad Taste to the Hopeful Lek, Kwame Yashawala, Bob, Bob, Shalom.